Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is the candy tumble dryer that I dismantled. It's a seven kilo eco case, um, easy case, heat pump, something, something, tumble dryer. It had some issues with the drum. It wouldn't turn because it's badly damaged where it bears on the rolling ball bearings. Someone had put in this, oh, gone, some kind of chemical metal. So what I'm gonna do is file it flat as flat as I can make it. You can see it's like the metal kind of gave up in the press or something. It's like a factory fault, really. I don't know how it's broken, cracked in this pattern. Um, like a load of veins. I'm going to try and smooth it out, maybe bash it in a little bit and smooth it out and put some chemical metal stuff that I have on it. This one's not as bad here. There's two, two of these holes in it and there's a bit of smudge over there that I'll have to buff out. I have no money invested in this machine. I have no problem if I wreck it. But I would like to see if it works, and to do that I need to get the drum to roll. The other issue is that on the inside, if there's big raggy pieces of metal, well then the laundry's going to catch on them, so we have to sort that out too. Metal's completely shattered there. It's very strange indeed. Yeah, I think we should be able to do something with that. All right, so I've got this stuff. I bought it a long time ago in Little or Aldi, I think. A long time ago. I've had it in front of the heat. I'll start by cutting a section of it. It's uh, kind of like a two-part resin or something. You need it until it becomes a paste, or until it becomes a putty. You cut how much you want and then you knead it until it becomes a putty. So I'll use half for now and see how I get on. I could have used a bit more heat. Not sure how good this is. The inside feels fine, but the outside needs a bit of work, but uh, we'll keep going with it. I'm just kneading it into snakes and then rolling it over and kneading it again and it's doing it quite right. It started off awful because the outside could easily be 15 years old, this stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'd say, it, I'd say it thereabouts is. Let's start easy. Probably heat up the surface I'm working on. Do that with a heater. I'll keep kneading this in the other hand. Right, so, just mould it on, I guess. So what I think happened was that they did something similar to this, but from the other side, using a two-part car body filler. Hopefully heat-proof, but I don't know. My plan is to file and sand this once it's done. I don't want to put too much on, really. I don't want it to rumble every time. It's going to be difficult to try and figure out where that where that uh, point is. Just take off a little bit there. It's meant to bond to anything and bond things together, but also act as a filler of sorts. A bit over on this bit of heat on this bit now. This one's a bit trickier. Seem to be bonding quite well to get it right up here to where it's where it's beginning to flake. And then I'll try and file it flat later on or sand it or something. I think what I'm gonna have to do is put some on the other side as well to make up for the mess that was made with that car body filler. Kind of goes on for all the world like chewing gum. Yeah, I think I need to put a bit more behind that to beef it up a bit so that it doesn't collapse. So I've used half of my remainder, the remaining putty, to try and 
smooth this out really just so that laundry doesn't catch on it. There we go, I just want to make it smooth in there as well. It's not great, but uh, certainly, certainly better than it was. I should have something to work with now. So this is the second one here, which I've, I don't know, lightly sanded. I don't really know what I'm doing here. This is a bit, This the end of the tube was a bit kind of ropey. So I'll just apply this in here and work it to the edges. It looks horrible. I'm gonna leave it to cure, whatever that means. So I've got this big, some kind of a rasp or something. It's like a file. It seems to be doing the job here. Pulling this down. It's been about 20 minutes, half an hour. If I take any more away, I'm going to run out of putty. So let's leave it at that, tidy up, put it back together, I think. See if it works. So I'm going to attempt a rebuild. Three big ones, I guess they go at the top. That is just a guess. Doesn't seem to be any difference. If they're holding on the bearing plate, then maybe that's they're maybe they need to be bigger. They're strange screws, they have a tiny indent for a regular for a relatively large head. So this plastic front goes on next, but I guess I've got to tidy up these rollers because they're, well, that one's got its plastic cut and this one's covered in bits, so that won't help. I'll see if I've got spares. So as luck would have it, I think I have the right ones. It's a T20 bit. Oh dear, that's very tight. It is just pure chance that I have these, but I'll take them off as a pair. Yeah, the rubber's worn off the back of that one. They're just a bearing covered in rubber. It's just good luck that I have them saved from another dryer. Couldn't tell you what what or where it was. Maybe another candy, maybe a Hoover. So I might not have bothered to replace the other, but this one is covered with some crusty chemical metal and the rubber is also damaged, so it's actually solid. There's no um there's no give in that. So if that's spinning relatively freely now and my surfaces feel nice and smooth, I should be able to Hook this in from above, thusly. Oh. Catch that on the top lip on the felt ring. Pull this cable through, because it has to go on the outside here in this hook, I think. Like that. This hose clips in on this side, I think. That goes in there, and then clips in there, and in there. Just try and roll it a bit. I don't know if it's on the rollers yet. It's that side in. Yeah, we're both in. Oh, this is looking good. Got a seal, it's a director or something like that. Hook that on there. Let's have a look at this bit of crushed metal here and see if we can't beat that out a bit. Or It should look like this, but it looks like this. It's a bit big, but it'll do. Get this door lock on first, slides in, and then it should snap back. That's it, very easy. Not that simple, really, hopefully. So a couple of screws to slide it off. Just press it. Door and hinge.
Next is this front fascia, which hopefully will snap in. screws to take care of that so after all that i have this one little fellow left over i can't remember where it goes put the front cover on below let's put the door in like that that closes great so far so good i'm going to need something damp so i'll take a i'll take a towel i'll take a towel and moisten it so i've got a shirt and a towel that i've made a bit damp let's just feel it first because it's going to sound lumpy i'm sure Not too bad, if it works. Put that laundry in there then. They're both clean, pretty clean. Let's turn it on at the wall. It beeped, okay, candy. Um, whites. Oh, flashing, cotton. Let's just go for it. Will it rumble? Oh, oh yes. Okay, so you can hear that bump, bump, bump. That's uh, because there's two wheels and two dints and they're in the same places. There's actually four bumps, but the middle one's coinciding is what I think's happening. That's really cool, okay. There's about half a liter to a liter of water in there. So I'll just leave it and come back. Maybe we fix this with a bit of putty and some old spares that I happen to have. Heat pumps heat up very slowly as I discovered with the Samsung. So I'll just leave it. it, might take an hour or more. We'll see what happens. It should probably adjust its time anyway, but we'll see. 11 minutes in and it has been at it for 11 minutes. It is tumbling, it's doing okay. You can't really see the laundry as well in this machine because you're working through three layers of glass. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear the pump in there. There's a fan on here as well. You can hear the pump. It sounds okay. It doesn't sound completely smooth, but equally I'm not too worried. It's more frustrating that bump, bump, bump noise, but it kind of is what it is. Can you hear that noise? But everything else seems to be working, the reverse action and all. Haven't seen any water come up yet, but time will do that. It's 12 minutes in and uh, these things take time to heat up. So it's been on for about 31 minutes now. It hasn't done the thing that the Samsung does and readjust the time at all. It's barely warm. It's not, it's not warm. It's not as cold as it was. It has a little bit of fog on the door there, so something is happening. And there's a bit of kind of fog in there. So it's halfway there now, pretty much. It's warm to the touch. It's not hot by any stretch. It's warm in certain spots. It beeps periodically. I put my hand on the back there where the air's coming out of the drum. It is, that plastic there is warm just around the sides. The insulation keeps it cool, I guess, there. And it's, it's warm down there. So it is getting warm. They're very slow, these uh, heat pump dryers anyway. There's no water in here pumped in yet, but if the sump was empty and it did drain out a bit, it might not even drain with just the towel. So I would need to give it another load. You can hear bump, 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 bump. You can hear it making that noise. So I haven't made a perfect job of it. I'm gonna leave it until it's done. Then I'm gonna take the top off and just have a look. Cause if that putty isn't completely smooth it's obviously going to make this noise and i might be able to file it a bit better but also it might have worsened but it sounds pretty much the same to me for the last hour and 15 minutes so we'll come back in a few minutes maybe an hour maybe an hour and 15. it's just beeping away i caught it here it just keeps beeping it's got down to six minutes it's 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 warm it's not hot by any means maybe 20 degrees it's beeping can you hear that i don't know why it 
does that periodically, it goes in a bit of a beeping bender. There's no water in the tank, so I presume much hasn't come out. I'm kind of ready to abort. It's hot in there, that's nice and hot. I'd like it to finish up, um, but I don't think we're gonna see the pump working. So what I'm thinking I might do is press pause like that. Beeps away, open this. Oh, it's beeping some more. Open this, let all the heat out, which is ruinous for the machine. Get a little tin full of water. Let's put that in here. So that will rush down into the tank. It's probably a bit much. No, it's flowing in there somewhere with a snot of something. Close this up. Hopefully the pump will come on if I start. So I had another three cans of water in the last couple of seconds to try and get it to pump. I don't see any water coming out and it's, I don't know where it's going really. I could try tilting the machine back a bit, it might help it. Theory does a lot of water in it now. It's got to be a liter, liter and a half down in the bottom somewhere. It's got a couple of drips coming out of up here, which presumably are condensation. I don't know. I see it trickling down there. There's a little float switch somewhere that should be activated. Let's get around the back and have a look. Around the back, it's completely sealed, apart from that. Plastic um, vent, plastic ductwork, perhaps. So there's no way. Sometimes you have a little opening hatch or something on the back you can get into awkwardly, like on my Samsung on some Bosch's as well. Not so here. This is tricky. So the hose that goes through there could be blocked, um, or the pump float switch isn't working, or the pump is blocked tricky. Can you see that? It's filling up. Something's happened in the last 20 seconds, but it's, uh, it's dribbling in, filling up that door, which is perfect. So that pump seems to be working. What I haven't seen working is this fan in here. You can't really see it. I haven't seen that fan on, but I haven't been watching for it. squeezed up a little bit there that's all it's done so it's only squeezed up a little bit nothing near as much as I've put into it maybe one tin out I put four tins in and one tin has come out so it's a very long two minutes it's the longest two minutes I've ever known I'll come back when this is done it's doing my head in I've been here a long time for this two minutes still on two minutes and it's taken more water out so that's positive from my point of view at least it's pumping beeps again more beeps. I'm gonna do the reverse action. More beeps. Still on two minutes. Oh, this water level thing is flashing. Hmm. Well, it can't be that the caddy's full because it surely isn't. Hmm. Well, we can empty it somehow. I presume it's just tip it out. flashing. It's dribbling over here again. It's dribbling in there again. Most peculiar. We're still on two minutes. I'll come back if anything happens. So it has pumped up a good deal more water and the flashing light there for water tank or whatever is um, stopped flashing but it's still on two minutes. It's taken a long time to complete two minutes. Still on two minutes. I suspect that the moisture dribbling down, because it's coming out of here, it's just condensed on the inside here. 
because there's nothing else there. It's, the pipe isn't up that high. This is, I expect it's just condensate. You can see condensation there on the side walls inside. It's a bit tricky as machines go, but there you go. The drum's dry. I'd hoped I'd be able to, oh, I can. I can see the white tracks there, just under my finger. It's on two, it's gonna be on two forever, I think, until it's dry, so I'm gonna abort the cycle, I think. And uh, we'll just take a quick look through it. Something is still making noise. Let's see what these guys are like. We didn't check it. Yeah, they're dry. <laughs> so I don't know why it's insisting on going forever. They're not completely dry, but they're um, they're dry enough for me. They're not hot by any stretch, nor is it that hot in there. Let's have a look in here. I'll clean it up properly later. So there's just a little bit of fluff in the bottom there, but nothing much to write home about. Let's have a look. water that I put in here, it was full and that's all gone away. A bit of snot in there. In here there's a bit of fluff which I would expect having just cleaned it. A bit of fluff has come through but the fins there look really clean and, and good. In good order. I'm thinking. I'm thinking at the moment I have the Samsung in the cellar but I might try this one for a while. Might give this one a go for a while and see what happens. Oh, I meant to have a look at that. Right, let's just turn it off. I've had enough of you. Ooh, off doesn't mean off. It does, kind of. Okay, there we go. Right. Plug it out so that we don't electrocute ourselves. Let's take a look here. There's the track. So you can see exactly where it rubs. Clunk, clunk. That's from my filing. That is a bit, a bit lumpy. There's something sticky on there. And on here. That could stand to be polished a bit. Filed a bit further. I think it's still got a bit of a hump in it there. I think there's a bit of a hollow. Eh, I don't know. This one doesn't feel as bad, but I, I suspect it's got a bit of a bump. Because it's making the noise of a bump. And let's just have a look in here. Or I've done it in there, that looks okay. Oh, steam coming out of there. That's a huge bump there, but it's set up nicely and it's smooth enough. It's a bit dirty from, I guess, from the towel. But the towel was clean. I think this will be okay for me. You could never sell a machine in this condition. I guess you could point out the problems and sell it for a small amount of money. It's a lot quieter when it's going slowly. Could file that down a bit more, even in situ. I could do it from here, maybe. Put the vacuum cleaner over there. Okay, Candy, what machine model is this? CBTD H7A1TE slash, or dash 80 slash, Candy heat pump seven kilo tumble dryer. Working again, that was a long day. <laughs> <laughs> questions or comments leave them below if you haven't subscribed already please do so a like would be appreciated thanks for watching see you later